The Houthi hijacking of the Israeli ship went GoPro. New footage emerged via social media showcasing the Houthi aggression and seizing of the Israeli cargo ship. The Iranian-backed Yemeni proxy is said to have ported the ship back in Yemen. This act disturbed Israel, with the Israeli army responding that this is a very dangerous global event. Follow for more impartial journalism. A Hamas spokesman via Al Jazeera said that Hamas destroyed over 60 Israeli tanks during the past 72 hours and that Tel Aviv has become subject to Hamas's bombardment, further adding that no depths have been reached for an exchange deal that will release the 240 Israeli hostages. This takes place moments before the Israeli Broadcasting Authority announced that it has given a green light for a hostage exchange. Xi Jinping, the Chinese president, said that no peace will happen in the Middle East without a fair resolution towards the Palestinian cause. This follows his foreign minister's announcement yesterday where Beijing called for a two-state solution. The Saudi crown prince labelled the events in Gaza as a genocide and calls for the two-state solution to be put into action. The Iranian president Raisi said that Western countries continue to arm Israel and calls for its BRICS counterparts to cut political, economical and military ties with Israel. The United Nations and Reliefs Work Agency, UNRWA, just announced that over 75% of the Gaza death toll has been of children, women and the elderly, resulting with over 13,000 tragic deaths so far. The continuous offensive of the Israeli forces has resulted with all hospitals to become out of service in northern Gaza, leaving a 1 million civilian population with no aid whatsoever. The IDF and Hamas are going through hostage talks with Qatar and the US as intermediaries. The Gaza death toll today is said to have reached 80 so far, with over 300 injuries that have no medical aid facilities to revive in. Follow for more impartial journalism. China's Qi and Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince have announced an exchange deal using only their respected local currencies. The Chinese and Saudi central banks will only use Chinese yuans and Saudi rials during their exchange procedures. Starting with a near 7 billion US dollar value, the exchange deal is however US dollarless. Follow for more impartial journalism. Israel and Hamas are expected to announce a four-day pause on aggressive fighting. The start clock on this is expected to be announced in the next 24 hours. During this phase, humanitarian aid will be allowed in and an exchange process is set to take place. 50 Israeli Hamas held hostages for 150 Palestinian women and teenagers detained by the Israelis. The new UK Foreign Minister and former PM David Cameron commended these efforts and urged all parties to adhere to the agreement in full. China said it hopes to help with this pause and that it will lessen the humanitarian catastrophe. The EU embraced these efforts with open arms and said more should be done. Follow for more impartial journalism. The Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen said that a hostage deal with Hamas will take place tomorrow. Meanwhile, Hezbollah, an Iranian-backed Lebanese proxy, announced that he has targeted a few Israeli locations, stating that it was not part of the time-limited no-fighting treaty. Sirens are said to echo in Tel Aviv and reports that the Houthis in Yemen will target Israel with further attacks similar to the hijacking of the Israeli cargo ship a few days ago. Follow for more impartial journalism.